Oh damn, it's so nice that we got that camper vehicle. The nature here is so amazing. A few moments later. <laughs> okay, I'm out. If you're not yet convinced why you should get the camper vehicle, then allow me to convince you a little more. In case you don't know yet, with this module you can have respawns for 4 people wherever the car is parked. You can also access a locker, small box and a barbecue. This means that you can have kids, respawns and storage during online raids and at places like launch site, bandit camp, outpost or wherever you can bring your car to. The first thing I tested is if you can fit it into a scrap heli but sadly it doesn't fit. So you cannot take it to oil rig or cargo. The camper modules also randomly spawn at the roads on some of the cars. If you see one you should jump in and give yourself all of the beds to have some additional respawn points. You can claim the bed by pressing E and switch the seats to take all four of them. If the bed is already taken, you can clear it by pressing E as well. If you come across someone else using the car and you want to destroy it, these are the ways you can do it. First one is by shooting it out with a gun. With a bit more than one AK mag, you can break the windows of the camper module, meaning that you will be able to shoot people in the back of the car but not access any of the loot or bags inside. With 3 AK mags you can break the entire camper module to make it fully open, but the inside won't be accessible unless you break all the modules down to 15%. To do that with my current modular design, you need around 220 556 bullets if fired with an AK. Alternatively, you can break it with an H3 rocket and a few bullets. If using explosives, you need 1C4 or 5 satchels and some bullets to break it. However, it is quite expensive so H3 rockets and irregular ammo are the best ways to do it. Important to note is that if you're not backed inside, you can only access the locked car while it has more than 0 but less than 15% HP. Meaning that if the whole car has 0 HP, you cannot mount it but people that have bags inside can still spawn and retrieve the items. You can fully destroy the car by shooting a few more bullets after it has gotten down to 0 HP. However, only the car parts will remain lootable and the rest of the loot that was in the lockers or boxes will despawn. So if you want to take what's inside, you cannot fully break the car. I believe this doesn't really make sense so they might fix it in the upcoming patches. So how do you actually make this vehicle? I prefer using a 4 module car with 1 slot for the engine, armored cockpit and 2 slots for the camper. This makes it a bit more safe to drive. In order to begin you need a car garage. You can build it as a standard 3x2 with 2 garage doors. I prefer using extra triangles for TC and airlock. You can also make it a 4x2 and have 2 closed squares to make your loot more secure. Then you will need a modular car lift. I like to place it with control panel facing the wall to have more space for an extra car or a heli. And basic electricity, solar panel and a battery. You can also add an auto turret inside later for more protection. Next thing you want is to bring back a car. For that you need all the car parts that the engine uses and fuel. Small engines require 5 parts total and big ones 8 parts. Most of the things you need are not too expensive to research on workbenches. There are 3 levels of parts, one per every workbench. The level 1 parts you can also find in crates on the roads. I suggest also bringing a hammer with some metal and HQM to repair the engine. Collect all the modules you need for the car and put it on a 4 model chassis. If you cannot find the required modules on random cars on the streets, you can also research them via workbench and craft them. Engine and camper modules require level 2 workbench and armored cockpit level 3 workbench. Once you're done with your car, create a lock and make some keys for it. I recommend keeping some extra keys in the box of the camper module in case you die and want to use it again after respawning. Well now, if you got this far, I think you are set and you can finally hit the road jack. So thank you all for watching and remember subscribing is the key to victory.